Bonjour à tous et bienvenue pour un nouveau tour, pour un nouveau tour d'une ville. Aujourd'hui, on est à Neuville-sur-Saône, une ville juste à côté de Lyon. Hi and welcome everybody. Today we're going to make a tour, a tour of a new city, a small city that is just located next to Lyon, about probably 10 miles or so, and it's called Neuville-sur-Saône. So we're going to make a tour, a usual tour, as you already saw before. So I'm quite exciting as usual to show you around this city with some comment all right so stay tuned until the next of this video to make sure you can explore and see everything about that city so neuville sur saône is this typical city that is in between the city and the countryside. You saw a tractor, something to do agriculture before. It's because it's in between. And there's a lot of cities like that in France who are between countryside and city, entre ville et campagne. So it's interesting. And I know this city quite well because when I was a kid, since it's not so far, that where I grew up, I used to come sometime, even during the week, when I've got some time. So I remember because it's more lucky, slow pace compared to Lyon, even though Lyon, I think, is not that crazy when you visit different cities in the world. But you know, it's more chill, more quiet. So this is it. And uh, it's typical French city as well, with a lot of shops, facilities and uh, nice building, an official building and so on. Bijouterie, boulangerie. So as usual, we're gonna just have a walk into the city and see what it's like. And today is July, so it's more uh, quiet than usual, which is a good thing, right? So we can explore more. There's less people and look at this church. It's very nice, very nice. I actually haven't really paid attention before, even though it's super sunny today, but this is nice. The wall is, uh, is nicely built. You see this rock that uh, briefed the French history before and the vitriol. I show you some vitriol, like which is the, the window of a church before. It's very impressive, I like it. And over there, this is the clocher. So this is the clock tower. And I guess every 30 minutes, it ring. Bonjour. Hello. Thank you. Very nice, maybe they thought that I was a foreigner. It's funny, but uh, they're friendly here. Honestly, here the people are more friendly than Lyon, than my own city, which is uh, <laughs> interesting. And uh, yeah, so that's the, the cool thing. Usually, you know, people are more friendly in a small city. They are more uh, relaxed and chill. So paradoxically, you can uh, meet up like people more in a small city than you would in big city. And I think a lot of you who have experienced knows about that, but it's always uh, always good to remind that. <laughs> that is, uh, well, I love and that guy look at me like I was crazy. <laughs> but it's, it's always good to, to give a reminder. So yeah. Le Boulanger de Neuville. So by the way, guys, now most of the shops here and in all the rest in France, they're closed. They're closed because it's July. It's mid-July, almost Bastille Day, 14 juillet. So that's why, you know, 
the French are very attached to their uh, holiday. And I mean, that makes sense, you know. Usually in France, uh, from mid-July to end of August, it's kind of slow. It start getting slow. So yeah, that's why. And this is another Hotel de Ville, city council. You see, guys, I didn't lie to you. I told you that almost every Hotel de Ville in France are pretty. It's amazing. That's a good usage of taxes. I love it. I don't know if I can film here, but I'm just going to show you a little bit. I'm going to try to to show you to sneak a bit and yeah I like the way you know they present the things always with the flag French European flag some golden uh, things like the front face building it's it's really nice you know it's really nice and always they make sure that they, they maintain the uh, you know like the the greeneries they have people dedicated for that. The gardener, we call them jardinier in French, right? Jardinier. They're the one who take care of those things. And I think they do a great job, especially in this region, in Rhône-Alpes, I think they, they do a very great job. I don't know about other region in France, but here I can definitely tell you that they are, they're making a good job which is very important because, you know, beauty and harmony are one of the things that can basically kind of avoid being negative or in conflict. If things are beautiful and pretty, you have less chance to, to feel bad and to feel like a chaotic. So I really want to point that out as well. And that is definitely a strength of friends which is a developed nation, is to, is to have this sense of uh, beauty everywhere and to maintain well the things. However, again, it's not always well maintained. It depends on the people. You know, sometimes they can uh, not uh, keep it that well and that pretty. But, but here at least is the case, so it's great. So this is something, um, I guess, related to the war maybe the first war yeah I think or in between yeah yeah maybe the first war that date the grave or the soldier that passed through this uh, tragic war in France because they say oh Neuvillois mort pour la France so for the Neuville, Neuville uh, citizen uh, which is this city who died for France and they put a uh, this for commemoration this is also a chunk in a piece of uh, history that we have, and that we are able to, to get, which is important to also remember history, and to not always uh, forget in order that it doesn't happen again. As you know, I like this park. It's very, very chill. I actually never noticed that park, you know? I don't know if I tell you guys, but before I, I travel, I actually never realized how how great all of these things are. You know, how great all of this infrastructure is, uh, is uh, genial, great, fantastic, uh, to be able to have all of these things, you know. The bench are also good in France. You see, they, sometimes they change the design, they reshape, you know. And also the bin, the bin is also such a thing in France. Usually they look different from a, a place to another. Here they look like that, made in brown, but sometimes they're green, they're gray. You know, it really depends where you are, but also all of these things are, well designed, well think. Um, yeah, like the 
I don't know, in English, I guess you say the collective furniture. In French, we say mobilier urbain or urban furniture, maybe. Mobilier urbain for all of these things that are here. And to be honest, even if you, fortunately, I don't have a car here, but if you continue far straight, you will find also another pretty town very pretty town or very small town and kind of village medieval there's a the whole region is great you know i wish to come back here with a car and show you more because this is just a glimpse of that you know just by getting outside of lyon which is uh, amazing i think the whole region is good and it's just again one region of france it's just one we we've got several pretty region in the whole country they make a giant mushroom a house that looks like a mushroom champignon i guess that's well designed as well and here you see the children they're playing it's uh with under the trees so you see guys that's also another good thing about france is that even you know if you own um, if you live in, a, in an apartment or if you don't really have a house you can always come to the public space thanks to the community organization and play with your kids or with your family and you can basically have access to some uh, outdoor things even though you know you're not loaded so yeah to me it's good it's really good all of these uh, design things it's it's absolutely great it's just a proof on how they were thinking about people constantly in their choice of uh, of, of model the model of society you know yeah it's, it's very nice there's countries where you can't even sit you know I've been to countries where where you basically can't sit somewhere unless you pay. And if you wanna get access to a seat, you need also to get into a private things, like inside somewhere, you know, there's no, really no outdoor access and facility. But here there's everywhere. So yeah, I think it's uh, very, very well made. Monument historique, Église Notre-Dame de l'Assomption, XVIIe siècle. Yeah, it's definitely hmm, historical building for sure. This shop sells like uh, veggies and fruits, and it's really good. 
It's actually a chain. They have several in the country. They do very good product. If you are in France, you can try Cerise et Potiron. I guarantee you right now it's super hot. Before it wasn't that hot in France. But now, I think almost every summer is hot these days. It's like over 30 degrees. Whew. But at least it's, uh, it's a, what do you call it? It's a dry heat. You know, so it's not a, it's not humid, so you don't sweat like a dog. <laughs> but however, it's, uh, it's still hot, right? So this is the coffee machine. Coffee, they serve coffee with that, with capsule and things like that. But I bet you that it's not open. Yeah, it's not open. Because actually, you know, in in these small cities, they have a weird um, opening hour. And for example, you know, they will open from uh, 9.30 until 12.30 and then from 3 o'clock to uh, 6.30, something like that. So they're making a break. And also now it's the holiday. So it's kind of uh, even a little bit worse. But um, that's also one thing you need to consider in France. It's not really a convenience country. We have great products and so on, but it's not going to be open all the time, even though now it's changing, but it's not always going to be and remaining open because, yeah, you know, uh, employees, they value their time. And in a way, you know, they're right. They're right. But uh, you just need to, to make sure, to make sure you've got what you need because many times it's not going to be open for you yeah it's cool here also to make a circle around this uh, building That thing is always impressive, you know. It always fascinated me the way that they leverage that trash. I think it's a trash. Mind you, here it's gonna be a bit noisy. And this company in France, it's always the city that do that. I guess it's the same probably in the US or where are you from? Uh, they, they manage this. And that's it, they see it, you see? And I think there's one guy here that is uh, manipulating with a remote. Oh, actually, yeah, it's this guy who do everything. It's like a video game. And then, boom, they're gonna put it here. And I guess they do the same with other stuff. That's a kind of an impressive thing. Or mechanical. gonna do those three and 
more construction during the summer and there's a jet ski wow didn't expect that a jet ski over there Fisherman in there. <laughs> 